Da, așa. What's happening? G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh, off the Hirschfelden. Let me adjust this microphone. Oh, the cars are noisy outside. Pain in the butt. I need to see if we've got game noise. I'm hoping we have. No noise at the moment. Oh, this game does take a little while to warm up. So I'm going to have a little goose hunt at first, and I might go for some red deer. Um, see how we go. Oh yeah, we got noise. Oh, I got a coffee, thank goodness. Alright, so I should be at the tent. I have to change... Uh... Oh, sounds like it's raining. Some weapons around. And uh, callers. I'll bring out probably the black dog. Alright, let me see. What what do we have? What is going on, mate? Alright, I do need... I'm going to get rid of you, actually. And these three here. Alright, so we've got three boxes of that. We're going to bring the bullpup as usual. Uh, if I can find it. There it is. And we'll like ten of them in. And we'll put it on a scope. Um, now we're going to just check equipment. Uh, I was duck hunting uh, last time. One of these should be a hog caller, so that'll be cool. So I need goose. Uh, this is goose short caller. First I need the flag. Uh, flag. Kill the short caller. Uh, I'm going to put a red deer caller in here. Because obviously we want some red deer. I might put the rattler in because uh, fellow deer. Alright, uh, we do have the dog on us, so that's good. Now we need some more ammo. Uh, under weapons, of course. And ammo. And at the moment I'm just doing shotgun stuff. Alright, so I've got five packs of them that. Uh, 10 bull pup. I'm not going to need too many of them at the moment. So let's resume the game. We're ready to rock, baby. So where's my dog? Oh, there you are. Hello. Alright, so let's go to the blind. Which blind should we pick today? I might go to the big one over here. Is my dog following? Right, yep, here we go. Good dog. I like a goose hunt every now and again. Alright, let's get in. Let's get in. Let's call the dog in. Um, that's not it. What happened? Come here. Are you in? Right, why aren't you coming in? Um, get out of the blind. Fetch. Stay. Sit. Why aren't you coming in? What's the matter, stupid? Alright, let's try the blind thing. Alright, you're in. Beautiful. Now, yeah, let's just... Uh, let's load the guns. Always important, because the geese can come in and you don't even have a... a bullet in your gun. You feel like a moron. Oh, what, what shells we got in there? Only two. Alright, let's take them out. Because you suck. Let's put in 30. Alright, that's, that's more like it. Let's load this thing up. Ah, we can call a red deer. Just in case there's one around. They come from over there sometimes. See at the at the back there there's a lot of uh trees and stuff. They come out of there in the from the bush. Uh, guns, guns. Oh, why is number three Oh that's because it's a gun. Of course. So number five will be the flag. And uh no goose yet. I reckon it's best to start in the morning. Oh, well, you know, you get goose 
all throughout the day. Ooh, got a rainbow. So hopefully we can get a few today. They are worth, you know, not worth too much, but if you get a few of them, it does add up. And it's just a fun hunt to have. So last time me and Ali went out, we done goose and then we done the ducks. I got me a nice big red deer over here. I made a little video about it. So that was pretty cool. That was just, we hadn't even shot a goose yet. And we heard geese and I started calling them. And that big male come out from over there. I thought, you little ripper. Nothing at the moment, so. Is that a single goose there? Or is that one of them? Oh, did that just change course, that bird? Uh, I think this is one of those dumb birds, right? The trickier. Yeah, it's one of those dumb birds that you can't even shoot. Every now and then, like yes, uh, last time when we were hunting, Oh, there goes two geese, look. Just two. Now, I use the flag and not the caller. The caller gets a bit annoying. And I think the flag, you know, it works just as good as the long-range caller. But uh, I think those two geese were, um, I think they're coming. But last time when we shot a fair few, we ended up with some circling around here. Like some of the ones that you don't hit are out of the flock, then flip out and just circle around. One went really high in the sky. The dog got it though. The dog can still grab it, which is really weird. As it grabs it from the ground and drags it over. It's a nice herd felton, I don't mind it. Now we do have fallow deer here, we have red deer, wild boar, uh, roe deer and fox. Does it have the wood grouse here? I think they might have them here as well. Um, but main targets today, we'll try and get some red boar later as well. Uh, red boar, wild boar. <laughs> but I haven't, you know, done a video on herd felton for ages. And I was here, they had a pheasant hunt thing. You had to get 20 pheasant to uh, qualify. And you got a tent. I think we got 150 EMs and a little trophy. So I come out here. I had it like a day to get my 20 pheasant. Got them easy. There's plenty of pheasant here. Where are these geese? I can hear them. I can't see them. Oh, there they are. There they are. Hello. I am waving at you. Waving you in. Uh, some roe deer around. Oh, did they just click? No. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Be my friend. Ah, uh, oh. Well, it looks like they're going to come. Not every flock comes in. And this is the only goose setup I've got on this map. So there's no uh, other, you know, other place that can take the geese away from me. I'm hearing more geese. Or are they the same ones? I don't know, it sounds like more geese are coming in. Where? Where are they? I can't see them. Oh, there they are, there they are. Hello. The second flock, will we have any luck? Then we've got a short call. If they are, they're not coming in either. Come on. Second flock. Maybe third flock will have some luck. Ah, uh, oh, they're on their way. Who knows where? 
Is that two geese there? So there's another two there. Oh yeah, that they triggered. You see how they flick? Oh, they're gonna separate. Oh, missed you. Oh, come on. All right, I'm starting off crap, which is no good. We've got more geese. Hopefully, I didn't hear them shots going off. All right, we've got one goose. Damn it. All right, maybe them geese heard the gunshots and won't come wherever they are. Oh, they're that. They're coming. They're actually coming. Over here. Over here. Where are you going? Uh, we've got three of those. I didn't think they'd come, because right? we just shot some, uh, shot the gun. Never know you like, right? All right, so we've got four. That's a good way of getting your um, animal count up too, is ducks and geese. As you can see, I have more than enough uh, decoys out there. Like, you don't need this many. I think I've got two sets out there. I only need one. But I went a bit overboard. Why not, right? All right, now we just wait again. I had to turn my flock sound back on because I had it off. Because uh, it can get annoying at some places. When you're not hunting for geese or ducks. And uh, I'll show you where we are on the map. We're here, over here. There's that outpost there. So I just walked over here to these paddocks. You tend to get a lot of geese coming over here. You could probably do it over here as well. So, yeah. Plenty of spots to do it. It's just a nice big paddock. You can sort of see everywhere. It's got a good 360 uh, thing on it. So I'll pick this one. I haven't done a stream. Didn't do one last week. Um, we had the Grand Prix on here. Like me and Ali did have a hunt. <coughs> but I had the Grand Prix on in the background, so. And she came a bit late, too. So it would have been a really late stream. And there might not be one tomorrow because we're having a Easter, like an Easter dinner. So I thought I'd do one today. Let's get one out for the weekend. We'll see how we go. Maybe Monday. Maybe Sunday night. I don't know. No, it's gone quiet again. It's a problem with, with ducks, you tend to get a, a, it seems a bit more busier when you hunt ducks. But hey, you know, this is the joys of hunting. We do have four animals down, so in 14 minutes. I think it was 12 minutes. So we've been waiting two minutes and nothing at the moment. Got all my Easter shopping done. So that's happening. Don't have to do it. I went out early this morning and finished that off. Went to the stupid market. Got myself some dinner. Come on, 
Goosies. So yeah, hopefully we can get some red deer today too. And the biggest red deer I've ever seen in my life was on this map. And another guy was shooting at it and he missed it. I couldn't believe it. It would have been top of the leaderboard, I reckon. It was years and years ago. It was freaking huge. I should have shot it. But the one I got the other day is in the top 100 um, that I made a little video about. That was a good size red deer, biggest one I got in a fair while. <coughs> I didn't tax my dies or anything, just uh, took a photo, which came out a bit dark anyway. But yeah, it was nice to see him stroll on in. Now we're just going to have to wait. Looks like it's going to rain again. We have a lot of rain at Hirschfelden, actually. And last time we were at Timbergold tra Trails, it rained like we were at Hirschfeld. It rained heaps. Uh, let's uh, check my paddock out. I think I've got four here. So I'm in one. There's one. There's... Oh, that's a hay bale. I've got three. Three blinds set up. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Sometimes we have a multiplayer hunt here. Yeah, it doesn't matter which blind you're in usually. The geese usually come in the middle here. I've had one land right in me, you know, you short calling it. I have one land right in here. It was crazy. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Looking for my flag. I pull out a shotgun. Shotgun's loaded, right? it is <coughs> you do go through the um the shells when you bird hunt I had to buy some more today I went through so many the other the other day you do make a you know you make that money back no problem as long as you shoot straight although that first uh first effort was pretty poor what's going on dog he leveled up. It's a uh, level 40 now, old buster. He's doing a lot of bird hunting. Pretty good dog. I used to take it with me when I didn't have my other dog. I'd just take this dog everywhere. Even though we are hunting pigs or red deer. Can't do one of them, but it was just company. So it's like you're not hunting alone. Ah, come on, geese. They do come in patches. And sometimes you get two at once and they both land. Two flocks. Wish this road wasn't as noisy today. Everyone probably doing the Easter shopping. There's a big uh, shopping centre up from me. It tends to attract a lot of cars on the weekend. The only time this road is quiet is at night time. <laughs> like after 10 o'clock at night. I'll call a red deer again just in case. It's amazing when you're in the blind, the animals get really close. The pigs, the deer. You think that um so you stand there a bit a bit more but it's, uh, it does give you cover for some reason I'm wearing the army uh, clothes which I usually wear all the time anyway they're pretty quiet and uh, they're good for all deer as you can see the geese can't see me either Gonna 
have to wait. Usually when you get out, say you, you go to get out to collect some of these geese, a flock flies over. As soon as you do it. It's like lighting a cigarette and the bus comes. It's like, oh, come on, man. We wait in the half an hour. Right, there's no Easter um, missions this year. Didn't there used to be Easter missions? Oh, there's nothing. I thought, you know, I looked the other day thinking, oh, they'll have an Easter thing coming. Some sort of special thing we'll have to hunt and maybe get an extra trophy or some M's or a tent. Nope. And not appear to be anything. Unless I missed it. Like, I didn't see anything. And they usually have a big banner about it, like they did on St. Patrick's Day. So, I don't know what the hell's going on, mate. Because uh, Easter goes over like four days. Would have been a good time to have some sort of competition. Yeah, so I got a... When we done the pheasant one, got me 20 pheasants here a couple of weeks ago. And I got, um, I think it was 150Ms, a trophy and a tent. So it's worth it to do that stuff when they have it. Usually it's like a double tree stand I'll give you, or a tent, if you, you know, qualify. And it was only 20 pheasants to qualify. So I had an afternoon to do it, and I got them easy. And I reckon I could have got 30 in a, in a day. There's so many pheasant here. If you like pheasant hunting, this is better than uh, Logger's Point, the pheasant hunt. And I was finding most of them, uh, where are we here? Uh, yeah, down around here where the pigs hang out and over here. They seem to like the, the darker paddocks with the corn or whatever the hell is in it. I was getting tons of them, man. Oh, they had to be flying, though. No uh, ground shots. And it didn't matter if it was male or female, I think. I think they all counted. If I remember rightly. All right, Geese, what are you doing? This happened to uh, me and Ali were about to leave, and then the whole bunch came and just kept coming and coming. We we'll, thought we'll go have a duck hunt instead. And we ended up with a whole paddock full of dead uh, geese. But, uh, yeah, they're very quiet at the moment. So I'll goose hunt for a bit, try and get a few of those, and then uh, we'll go for a walk around here. And uh, yeah, so we can, um, we'll keep a shotgun on us, because there's pheasant, like I said. We'll take the bull pup for the red deer, the wild boar, and the fallow deer, and we're not going to worry about roe deer or foxes. But I've done a lot of fox hunting here. I've done most of my fox hunting here. Like I have uh, at the back here. I have a couple of tree stands, and this one, if you sit in that, you just call red deer and foxes and use the bow and arrow. And, uh, yeah, you get a lot up there in, in the woods area, and there's another tree stand there. So it does have a few towers, this map. As you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So there's, oh, six. There's another one there. So not too bad. Did I count that one? I don't know. I'm getting confused. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, seven towers. And I've got a blind there. I've got this goose set up here, another blind there. A tent there. And a tent at the back there. So this map is uh, pretty set up in a way. It's not too bad. It's uh, lacking geese though. Isn't it always a way when you're not hunting geese, you hear them flying over all the time? Like non stop, and then when you're hunting them, it's like, oh, where are they now? Like I said, this is the only goose setup I have on this map, which is here. They send on some people, then put another one over here or here, but then the geese can land there while you're here. So it might take away some of the geese flying over you. So I only always just put one setup on a map. So if my ducks I only had the one setup. But uh, 
that. Let's uh, see. Let's call uh, Red Deer in case there is some around. You get wild boar here, but mainly I find the wild boar over these areas as well, in the darker paddocks. You find the wild boar a bit more. Sometimes along the river, you find them. I entered a few competitions. The only one I remember is you got to shoot the red deer through the heart. And I think the wild boar, you've got to shoot them without a stand or a blind. you just got to be, you know, out walking around. There is a goose one. I think it's the three heaviest geese or six heaviest geese without missing a shot. I think we've cancelled ourselves out for that one because we missed a couple of shots already. So <laughs> that sucks. Some of the competitions are pretty weird. There was another one with pheasant, but you needed a certain shotgun, which I don't have, so I didn't bother with that. I hate it when it's just a particular gun, and if you don't own it, well, then you can't enter. And who's going to buy a gun just for one competition? So I'm starting to get a few bucks in. I think I've got 20-something thousand GMs now. So... You know, soon I'll be able to buy, if I want another gun or some stuff, I'll, I'll start buying some uh, equipment with the money I've uh, gotten from hunting. That's the grind. <laughs> That's the grind in this game. If you want something and you don't want to pay real money, well, go get out there and hunt. Nothing wrong with that. That's, that's why we're coming. Oh, we've got a male wild boar. He's not super far away either. Let's see if we can see him. And we'll get out of our little blind. Am I running? I'm running. Stop running. He's over this burn here. Let's we'll see if we can see him. The females aren't really worth shooting. You'll get a few um, GM. But, uh, yeah, it's sort of not really worth shooting them. The males, they can, uh, you know... Be worth a little bit. I was going to bring out the 4570, but then I remember we've got a fellow deer. So I can't shoot the fellow deer for 4570. I don't really see a, a whole heap of um, fellow deer on this map. I know they're here. Like when I was hunting the pheasant that day, I saw a lot of fellow deer, but they were all female. Didn't see one male. And once again, the female aren't worth shooting, so I didn't bother. Let's see if we can see this pig. My dog's pretty good. It'll go really slow when I go slow. So it won't go crazy like I call the wild dog sometimes, running around in circles and uh, scaring all the animals off. You're like, what the hell is this dog doing, man? Um, hello, piggy, where are you? Not really close, is it? These pigs will kill you. And why wouldn't they? Alright, so we're just here somewhere. Is it behind the haystack? I'm hoping it didn't hear us coming or smell us. Pigs will walk in really close a lot of the times. The boars. Let's give him another weapon. Oh, is that it there? Oh, shivers. Sure, it's right on top of me, I think. Is that it there? Oh, there it is, right there. There we go. Get a brain shot in on that. See how dark it was? Like, I couldn't even see it there, man. I knew it was close because of the hunter, mate. It was telling me it wasn't too far away. Let's see what this is worth. First wild boar tusks aren't too bad, but yeah, nothing uh, to write home about. Looks pretty fat. 
What have we got? We hit the brain. Nice way to kill these pigs. And we're going to get 58. It's a 103 too. I'm not sure if that's big or not. The tusks didn't look that big. Oh. I mean, uh, position two. I, mean, I did go in a wild boar. What's the face? Oh, I'm awesome. Going second. <laughs> Maybe it is a big wild boar. Ah, I'm hearing geese. Hearing geese. Oh no. Get up. I didn't want to go to that. I look weird shaking it when you are. Uh, where are they? I know they can hide behind the haystack. Oh, I can't hear them. Oh, I think they're coming in. Oh, there goes the flock over there. Get the flock out of here, man. Uh, we'll try and get back to a blind. We'll uh, run. Ah, so we've got a nice big pig. It's like the geese are starting to pick up again. So let's run back to our original blind. We'll get the dog in. And, uh... See if the geese liven up a bit. But it's worth to go over and shoot that pig. Sometimes I do stop. Oh, there you go. There was two geese. So, um... Yeah, I do stop sometimes. And, uh... Get him. There, good dog. Alright, so we're ready for geese. Shotgun's ready. Shotgun's ready. I'll just make sure your shot is ready. I've done it myself. If you get to reload, the whole flock comes in. you got like one bullet in the thing. You go boom. You go, oh no, I've got to reload. It's the biggest pain in the A ever. That's maybe there was a big boar over a thousand. Although the tusks didn't look that big. Although I don't know how old this uh, competition is, but they usually start at six o'clock at night for me, or five at night. The competitions. So it's got to be at least eighteen hours old or something. Ah, oh, let's sit back and wait. It was nice to get a pig though. So we've got a boar, we've got four geese. We need some red deer today. Maybe some more wild boar. And nice to get a fellow deer. I think I've only got a couple. A couple of fellow deer. Because I don't hunt here a lot. And then when I do, I keep seeing female fellow deer and not males. And it's sort of like, well, I'm not shooting them because it could be something big around the corner that I want. You know, big male, red deer or boar or something. Sometimes you go AFK, like you're hunting alone, you go to the bathroom, you might get a coffee, and you come back and there's geese landed in the paddock. Ah, oh, we hear geese? Where are you? Where are you, little buggers? As these headphones don't give me accurate. Oh, they're the way over there. It's a big flock, too. Look at them. I think they're too far away to uh, attract. Is there any other flocks? Sometimes you, you have one behind you, you don't see. I don't think they're coming in. Oh, there's another, there's, there they go over there. They sound actually closer than what they are. No, they're not going to come. Damn you geese. Ah, well, wait again. I 
That's a bummer. Yeah, so I thought I'd enter a competition or two while I'm coming here for Red Deer, which I've got to shoot for the heart. There's a wild ball one, as you saw. I think we've got to shoot it closer than 25 metres, which we've probably just done up that last one. And there's a goose one, but um, I think I've cancelled myself out for that. I think that was all. I'm not sure about the foul idea. Oh, another pig. You male. If female, not worth it. Let's get back to the geese. Where are they? Oh, oh there they are, over there. There's like only four of them. Flying far away from me, little paddock here. Oh, come on, man. Well, if you like it, they will zip just before they um, go to draw distance, but I don't think they're going to do that, so. So there's a female pig. Like I said, not worth shooting. We'll call her in case there's a male. That'd be nice if I got a, another pig. I haven't got a wild boar trophy. I've got a feral hog one. I don't have a wild boar one. Now, I don't mind it if they throw in some M's as well. Because that does help, like when you want to taximodize something. Um, you can just use, I think it's only 10 M's or 5 M's. But it's a lot of uh, GM's to taximodize. I thought I'd do that a lot, but every now and again, like that Ram, the other week we got lucky and got a real big one. Then I got a big uh, Roosevelt Elk, which I taximodized. And if you get an albino or piebald, I want to get a pie bowl soon. I haven't seen a pie bowl in years, man. They seem rarer than albinos. Which is sort of weird. Alright. You're, you're still that female. And you're over that way. Is there two wild balls? Let's call red deer as well in case, mate. I've been killed by a few wild boars at Hirschfelden. They knock your A over T and uh, you're dead. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm going to quickly go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Oh, I've had his coffee again today. Coffee and cigarettes for breakfast is uh, not a good thing. the goose uh, nothing I 
That's actually a nice map, this, but it's not huge. Oh, that's it. Like, it's not a Timber Gold Trails or anything. It's not, uh, it's not huge. It's quite small, actually, as these maps go. How you going, Sarge? Hey, bay man. Geese of, uh, oh, I'm hearing some. Just gotta find them in the sky. And so I got crazy headphones that I just don't know which direction they're in. Hello, where are you? I can hear you. There they are, there they are. That's a big flock. And I scared Demi. Come on, fellas. I'm flapping like crazy here. You can do it. That pig's getting closer. That's a female though, so we're not going to worry about her. We've already got one big pig today. Big male. Second in the competition. Oh, come on, geese. Maybe I'm the goose. <laughs> I'm the goose. Oh, yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm pretty good. Thought I'd have a hunt today because maybe I won't be having one tomorrow because of Easter and I've got Allie and her mum coming for a, a lunch. So we still might be able to after that, we'll just see. But I thought I'd have one today and come to Hirschfeld and then we got one wild boar, a nice big one, coming second in a competition. It's over a thousand, so is that big for a wild boar? Although the tusks didn't look super big, you know, the pig was over a thousand, I think a thousand and thirty-eight. I said I'm coming second in a comp, so hopefully we can hold that if it's a big pig. And I want to get some red deer, I'm in a comp for them, but I've got to shoot them through the heart to uh, register for that comp. And I thought we'd start with geese first, because uh, you tend to get more of them in the morning than you do later on in the day, although that can uh, go upside down as well. Yeah, still playing a uh, classic and uh, haven't touched the call a while. Even though they got a new gun pack out, I don't really care. It's good, you know, if you're in that game. It'd be good. It's like a... They actually bought out a semi-auto that you can use on bison and the Cape Buffalo and the bigger animals, which the game needed. Because they had them for the, you know, for the white tail and the smaller animals, but uh, not for big ones. So it's good they've done that. Uh, roe deer, which I don't want. I didn't actually bring a gun to shoot roe deer. It's female anyway. Let's call that pig in case it's uh, coming on in. We can have a look at it, but if it's a female, which was showing up earlier, we're not shooting it. Because it's just a waste of a bullet. There it is. Oh, there's a few of them actually. Look, there's a little herd. I saw one's back. Oh yeah, there's a not a bad herd over there. We'll call them in. Oh, with a pig caller. I've actually got to step out the blind for this comp. I'm not allowed to use a blind for pigs. I hope we get up on this burn here. We'll be able to see it. See if there's a male in there. Worth shooting. Since the geese are a bit slow. Alright, my dog's behind me. I can hear him walking. Alright, 
right. The wind's good, actually. You can see the leaves blowing sort of towards me, so they might be able to smell me. i just got to be quiet and uh, not be seen. And uh, get the binoculars on them and see what the hell's going on. Ah, uh, can you geese now as I move out of the bloody blind? Uh, where are they? Hello, hello pigs. Uh, you're a female. I don't want females. I might call here so they walk a bit straighter. Since there's a few of them, there's got to be a male in the in the little uh, pack there. Uh, what are you? You've got tusks. You're a male. Yeah, see, the other one was over a thousand the male I shot. Is that big? That seems big. Although the tusks didn't look impressive. You're a female. You're a female too, I think. You can't see tusks on you. Spot. You are a female. So the, the black one here is the male. So go ahead and walk in and be closer. My dog is obviously behind me somewhere. Sitting down. So I'll just be quiet. Try and get a brain shot, mate. There he is there. We don't want you. We don't want you. Alright, so looks like a bunch of females and the, that one there is our male. Always just, you know, you can usually tell by the tusks anyway. Are you a male there? Are you the male? Are you spotting? I'm going to go to this male because it's close. I've got to watch this female getting super close here now. So I want this male to come up. He's not as big as our last male. Oh, this female's getting way too close for comfort. Because she will kill me if she runs at me. Come on, male. Pop up over the hill, buddy. Here it comes. Here it comes. call again. I don't want that female coming too fast. She keeps walking. That's it buddy. Give him a couple of more steps. Brain shot. Alright, let's pick him up. All right, two pigs. So this one is a bit smaller than our first one. But it should be worth maybe 30 GM, I'm hoping. Make a few bucks. They do, I wish they'd redo these models. Well, they sort of look okay, but I think they could do with uh, just a bit of refinement. Oh, we missed the brain, 25. See, the score is 474. Our first one was 1,038. So, obviously that first pig was a decent one. All right, let's get back to our little uh, hidey hole over here. Let's see if we can get a few more geese before we try and get some red deer. Run! I've had this goose set up forever. The only thing I bought new was I bought this new blind here because it fits more people in it. And it looks cool. <laughs> I bought it with GMs. 
for this blind here. I bought one for here and one for the ducks. New. Ah, right, dog. Get in the blind. There you go. Good dog. Alright. Every time I move out of the bloody blind, geese cunt. So two wild balls. One was pretty big then. 1,038. by the, you know, school, anyway. So you've been hunting a lot, Sarge? You've been in the game hunting a bit? You like this game, don't you? You, you hunt a lot in here. Did you do the pheasant hunt, the 20 pheasant, and get the trophy, the tent, and the, I think it was 150 EM, on the, I think it was for St. Patrick's Day thing. I got it on the last day. Came here and got me 20 pheasant. I got like 25 of them or something, but just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I qualified and uh, yeah, got me stuff. Can't pass up a free tent and free EM. And you get the little trophy as well. Yeah, you did that one. It was worth it, wasn't it? And like it only took me, you know, a few hours to get 20, um, 20 pheasant. Like, it's no bother. So I just came here. And, uh, yeah, tons of pheasant on this map. Compared to Logger's Point. Logger's Point has a lot, but I think you just, you find them better here because of the open paddocks. You sort of sneak up on them and do the whistle and, uh, get them flying. Boom, boom. <laughs> Knock them out of the sky. Where'd them geese go? I heard goose noises and now they just like they turn their, their sound off. Yeah, I got most of mine um like around here where this tent is. Where it's uh like patchy, where it's like the cornfield stuff. So yeah, I've got a fair few down there and over this part here. Why is that showing up? Yeah, over here and here. Got most of them off, isn't it? Same, you use the drilling gun to level it up. Oh, alright. I don't have that one. I've got it in the Call of the Wild. I don't have it in this game. That's one good thing about this game. You don't need every gun. You know, to be honest. Get yourself a good shotgun. I like the bullpup because of the 7 you know, millimeter bullet. I do have a lot of other guns, but I, uh, you know, I do tend to go the bullpup a lot because it's lighter. I think it's only three and a half, not four. So then you can fit more, you know, maybe a pistol in or your bow and arrow or, you know, extra bullets. Oh, that's great. It's raining, mate. Yeah, but I thought, I forgot all about the pheasant one. Then I remembered it on the last day. I went, oh, better get out there. <laughs> better get out there. Yeah, but I've done it no sweat, so that's good. You're using the oh, longbow, 44 pistol and drilling. All right, fair enough. I don't think, uh, I don't know if I have the longbow either. Uh, another pig screaming. Oh, it seems to be pig day here. Could be from them same herd. Them females walking back in. I'd imagine. We've got two males, so... Oh, see that? Looks a bit um, glitchy, the old sun there. I have a solar flare. I've got a rainbow. Now all we need is geese. <laughs> More geese. I've only shot four geese. We've we been here how long? 55 minutes. Four geese, two pigs. I usually hope for more geese than this. And you usually do get more than this. But uh, I'm having one of those days.
Oh, we're here inside. Please don't be 10,000 miles away from my painted key. Where are you? Alright. Spotting them is the fun thing. I sound like they're getting closer. Where are you? Come to me, you little bastards. There they are, there they are, there they are. Oh, yep. Same trigger. Alright, so it's your call. Oh, come on. Oh, we got three. And one bad shot. Alright, so now we've got seven geese. Oh, I can hear more geese. Is there another flock out there? Or is it these two nicking off? Oh, another flock flying overhead. Could be lucky. Look at that one out the front. He must be the alpha goose. He's the one that goes on the attack. Come on, buddies. Don't worry about them gunshots. They were friendly. Friendly fire. Come on, you can do it. Maybe you can't do it. All right, at least we're getting some geese coming into the picture now. Because uh, I want to make a few bucks, mate. I'm saving up for stuff. I don't know what stuff yet, but uh, it's good to have the money. Now I've got a free tent from that uh, pheasant hunt, which I can put out somewhere. I'm going to have to go to my loggers point and raid it. I've got a lot of tents there and a ton of towers. And uh, I might move some of the towers over the timber gold trails. Even though blinds are good too. If you've got blinds, like, you know, just a, a normal hunting blind is good. Because like I've got some of them on white heart iron. You get the white tail deer come really close. You know, they're fully like these blinds with the full cover. So yeah, they're pretty good. I haven't got a blind out there. I used to use for pig hunting and stuff. Just call pigs in. They seem to come right in. So this map's not too bad. I've got a few things on it. I wouldn't mind putting some extra stuff on Timber Gold. Because that map comes with no towers at all. So you've got to supply your own. And maybe a few more blinds. And uh, yeah, the map should be excellent then. Uh, we'll level the dog up a little bit today. Let him uh, go get all the geese. Then we'll put him back in his uh, little pen. And we'll go for a red deer, fellow deer and pig hunt. And maybe the odd pheasant as well. We should have uh, brightened up here. Bloody Hirschfelden. Where's this supposed to be? In Germany or something? Hirschfelden sounds German. I like the G10 too. I really, you, I don't think you can put a scope on the G10. You don't really need a scope when you're bird hunting anyway. It'll just limit your your vision, your view. I do like my G10. It's my favourite shotgun in the game. G20 is good too for bird hunting because you can only put bird shot in that because it fires really quick. Boom, boom, boom. It only has three that it can fire at a time. But since I got my G10, which I bought with GMs as well, I think it was like 10,000 and something, 
Um, yeah, I just use my G10. It's like, you know, for me, it's for my style, it's the best shotgun in the game. It holds six, pretty powerful. I just like the, the look of it, looks nice. Now if we X, we can have a look at it. So, yeah, nice, nice looking shotgun. But, uh, yeah, come on, geese. Need more. We've only got, what, how many out there now? Seven, I think. It's not much. We don't want to lose ten. <laughs> I'll lose ten geese. Now the clouds here, I won't be able to see them. I can hear them. Unless they're flying low. Alright, let's look around. Need a goose indicator. <laughs> a radar. Ah, where are you, little buggers? They sound pretty far off, though. They will just flap around. Right, now I can't even hear them. I'm probably right on the edge of the draw distance. Okay. Goose playing games with me. And, uh... That once human game I've been talking about, it's, I think it's been pushed back to uh, April 3 now, which isn't very far away. I updated my uh, my game the other day and made sure it was all updated. So we got, um, yeah, like um, later next week that, that'll be out. And I think, if I oh, read there, if I read it rightly, a female. Um, if I read it rightly, seven million seven hundred thousand people have applied to get in the game. Now, luckily, I was in last beta, so I'll, I'm I'm in straight away. Um, hopefully, Boomslang gets in. He wants to get in the game, so hopefully, he can get in. But they have uh, multiple servers now, last time they didn't. And apparently they've, uh, the AI are a lot better this time. They're gonna be a bit harder to kill. So yeah, if, if seven million people have applied for this game, I don't know if they can all get in. Um, for the, the beta's gonna go 42 days. Um, it'd be one of the most popular games on the internet right now. Like, I know WoW have millions in it, but I don't even know if they have 7 million anymore. Oh, that game has dropped off a lot. So, uh, 7 million people, man. I think when it comes out, it comes out third quarter of this year, it's going to be the one of the biggest games of the year. Because it's free, and I've played it, and the graphics are good, the theme's good. The gunplay is good, and you actually got to play with friends because uh, you go into towns where there's multiple AI, and then you got to fight bosses, which is like in a dungeon area. And the first boss you can do alone, uh, but then after that, the second boss is on a timer, so you can you know get it right down and and not be killed by it by using health packs and that. But then you run out of time when you're alone if you don't have you know super powerful weapons and uh yeah that's it hey white richards how you going do you do i have a 200 typical yet no, i don't think i do that's a pretty big one what, what was it white tail black tail not a black tail would be 200 mule deer that's uh that's a nice big one did you keep it and put it in your lodge you want to taximatize that thing too late now if you haven't. You only got the 24 hours after you shoot it. 
White tar? Fair enough. Must have been a beautiful looking uh, beast, mate. I do have uh, some non-typical white tar, but I got them before we had lodges. Um, yep, you did. That's the way. Always taximidize them. And if you don't, you know, if you forget, well, you can do it after the hunt anyway. You have 24 hours, just go to your, your hunt history of your last hunt. And you can uh, do it from there. But yeah, I usually uh, taximidize all my non-typicals. Because, you know, why well, wouldn't you? I'm after a pipe old man. I haven't seen a pipe bold in years. And in that time I've gotten a couple of albinos. Um, yeah, I want to get a pipe bold. I remember once I was uh, Red Feather Falls and, you know, I heard a white tail call and it was a bit of a burn like, um, you know, that ridge in front of me here. So the white tail was on the other side of, say, that and it was calling, but this was that Red Feather. So I called it and I just sat back and waited for it to come in. And it came over the burn, came over the little hill there. And it was a pie bold, nice big bugger, male. And I shot it, you know, collected it. I probably got a photo of it in my, uh, you know, thing there. But, um, yeah, there was no uh, lodges back then, so, I don't know. And really since then, I got one pie bold after that. Another white tail at Loggers Point. But since then, I haven't seen one in, uh, that'd be a couple of years ago now. So I'm hoping to get a nice pipe by a white tail. It'd be nice. For the lodge. Nice, you know, big and though. But, uh, yeah, that's going to have to wait because we know that rares are rare in this game. Non-typicals are rare. Albino, pie bold. So, yeah, when you do get one, like, uh, Wyatt got his, uh, non-typical... Taximidize that thing, man. Whack it in your lodge. Ah, where are these geese? I really need to get some new headphones. Oh, there they are. One's coming in. One, one. I'm sure call the one, the, the one goose. Really? You're, you're the only one that came in, mate. Thank you. At least you came in. The other mates uh, didn't bother. Uh, can you hear more geese, or is it the ones that are flying off? It sounds like there's another flock somewhere. Hello? Are they coming in? They look low. They actually look low. Oh, he's a landing really quick. Uh, we've got three of them. I think there was only four anyway. That's a bit better, Goose. Oh, there goes another flock flew overhead. Now that's a little bit better. What's my favourite animal? Oh, it's just a single-player game today, mate. Usually on a Sunday when we play, we open up the, the map and anyone can join in. Today I'm in a couple of competitions, so I want to see if I do any good. Are these low? Are these coming in? What are they doing? They're not making a sound. <laughs> Alright, you're too far now. My favourite animal in this game, I like the red deer, I like the mule deer, and the white tail. Um, they're probably some of my favourites. And I do enjoy hunting bison every now and again. They're a fun animal to hunt. And uh, the big water buffalo are fun too. But I do like the probably white tail, mule deer, um, red deer. 
Oh, we've got a few. We've got a few now. That's better. Better geese. Yeah, no worries. On a Sunday, we usually have an open uh, map. And uh, no matter where we're hunting, anyone can join in and just uh, have a hunt with us. But today, because I just I took a few competitions, I'm not sure how long I'm going to hunt. So, you know, I just thought I'd come in single player today. Trying to earn a few bucks. I'm coming second in a big competition, so hopefully we can hold that. Because I don't have a wild boar trophy. Even if I came third, I'd be happy. It was 1,038 score, so pretty big. We don't know how we're going to go, though. I'm in that goose competition, but I think you have to shoot the first six geese without missing a shot. And the first gooses that came in, I missed a couple of shots, so I think I'm out of that competition. I'm in a red deer comp where I've got to shoot it through the heart. So, not super difficult, but yeah, you can miss and uh, hit the lung. All right, we'll try for another couple more flocks, then we might go have a, try and find some red deer and a wild boar to kill. Even a fellow deer, which I'm um, not having a lot of luck on this map. I've only got two, although I don't hunt them a lot. And like I said, last time I was here, with the pheasant hunt, I kept seeing a fellow deer, and they're all female, not one male with them. I was like, "What is going on?" But that looks better. The paddock looks better now. It must have over ten dead geese down, so that's pretty cool. Ah, another flock of they're picking up right now. Have a look at the hunter, mate. See what time it is. I think I came in at seven o'clock in the morning, in the game, so, there they are, over there, oh yeah, they triggered, I just saw them flick, Uh, got a few of those. Can't get them all, mate. <laughs> well, sometimes you can. But, uh, you know, I'm happy to get the majority of them. Alright, that is looking better. What is the time on the hunter, mate? Yeah, 9 o'clock. They seem to be uh, really flocking in. I think it's just, you know, luck too. The game does what... Hey, Skippy, how you going, man? Go for the geese. How you been, Skip? Long time no see. When you're making your next uh, masterpiece for YouTube, mate. I've been waiting for one. Right, where are they? Where are they? I'm blind! Damn these headphones, there they are. Come on, you can do it. Well, maybe you can't, but... Oh, I don't think they're gonna. They don't like the flag. No time working too much. Ah, bloody Uber drivers. Fighting the taxi people, huh? Oh, they, they hate you. The taxi drivers hate the Uber drivers. <laughs> ah, it's a mad world out there. Yeah, it has been... Uh, although they did uh, cancel the Moomba parade. Did you see that? I got a bit hot, and they can uh, they cancelled the whole parade. It only happens once a year. They've never had to cancel it ever, and uh, they cancelled it this year. 
Ah, oh, that's funny. I was thinking of the poor kids. They're probably all looking forward to it. And, uh, oh, we're cancelling it. It was a bit hot. It was a hot weekend, though, that weekend. Working too much, mate. You should do a stream every now and again. Because then you don't have to edit it. You just you need to pay for a new car. Didn't you get? Isn't your car not that old? I know you hit a freaking deal with it, but um, you're buying a new car. Oh, well, that'll cost you twenty grand there. Whatever they're worth nowadays. Cars are expensive right now. And plus, we don't make them in Australia anymore, so they're all. Imports. They just let the car factories close here. So uh, everyone lost their jobs. That's awesome. If I was the government, I would have given free electricity. And then they would have stayed open, I reckon. I said, hey, yeah, look, we'll subsidise your electricity. Because that's their, one of their biggest bills. But of course, governments here don't do stuff like that. Eight years old. All right. 400,000 Ks. Yeah, well, that's some uh, taxi miles you got on there, mate. Huh? That's a lot of miles. Just use it as a trade-in, yeah, if you're getting a new car. With a trade-in, you'll get a good price for it. I don't have a car. Although I can use one of my sister's cars. It's parked in my driveway. It's a little, uh, what do you call them, starlet or something. It's a little crap, crap holer. Four-cylinder, automatic. But uh, if I go to a big shop, sometimes I use it. Alright, where are you? These are. Is that you? No, I'm seeing things. Where are they? Where are they? Just flap like crazy till we see them. Damn it, I can't see them. Oh, there they are. They're way over there. Are you going to play the once human with us, Skippy? I don't know if Boomslang's going to play in uh, Haggis. We need a little crew for that game. We need a crew, man. We need a crew. Kept it for sympathy. Fair enough. Yeah, you've got to have sort of new cars to be an Uber driver here, yeah, or, you know, they've got to be in good shape and stuff. She said a taxi driver down the road from me, and she'd say he's taxi man. It's got all, you know, different guards and bumpers on it, and then he's just sprayed it yellow, like he sprayed it himself, and it just, oh man, it looks horrible. If that taxi pulled up to pick me, I'd be like, Jesus, mate, this looks like a junker. Looks like it's done about two million miles, right? Better watch driving uh, this weekend, mate. The cops are out there. Long weekend. They'll be out with their speed cameras and freaking breathalyzers and radars and helicopters and all their garbage. I'm cool because I'm not driving, so. Where are you from in the US? I'm from Australia. Skippy's from Australia. We're Aussies, mate. Ah, oh, yes, they're everywhere last night. I can imagine. They said they were going to blitz. So, uh. Well, I, I walked to the supermarket today, so. They can't get me for speeding for that, can they? Eh? <laughs> Ha ha ha.
Did you watch the Grand Prix last week or did you work picking people up and shuffle them all around Melbourne? How bad are the spiders? Ah, we got spiders here, but um, yeah. You know. Don't worry about them. Pretty rare to die from a spider bite. The worst ones we have are funnel webs, and they're mainly in uh, Sydney and New South Wales. I'm in Victoria, so. So we're cool. You watched? Yeah, I watched it. I had it on in the background. Me and Ali were hunting, but I had it on because I got a TV in this room as well. It was sort of alright. There was one crash right on the last lap. I think the Aussie, one of the Aussie guys, come fourth or something. That young bloke. So he done all right. Ricardo's. I don't know what he's driving a go kart this year. Doesn't seem to be doing any good. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, I might pick up the geese and go for a, a normal hunt now. Um, come to me, dog. All right, so we've got to get the dog to fetch. All right, don't look at me, stupid. There you go. Do your job, buddy. Do your job. Level him up a bit. Alright, I'll get him to fetch another one. Oh, I just went in the head and the neck. Oh, worth 16. Very nice. Yeah, but I watched the Grand Prix to see what was going on. They cancelled the did they have grid girls? I know they cancelled them years ago, saying it was demeaning. And then they talked to the girls who were doing the job, and they loved it. It was like, you know, they got probably paid, you know, a few hundred bucks a day just to stand around and look pretty. <laughs> and they took the job away from them. It's like, you morons. We used to go... Every, um, we used to go every uh, Saturday and watch the qualifying. We've done it for years. And it wasn't bad that you'd have, a, you know, like a, an F-16 or some crap fly over and you'd have a, um, a Qantas jet fly over. You had to walk across the pontoon, across the lake or whatever it was to get to McDonald's. Dog, there's tons out there. Go find one. Are you, are you moving? Look, just there. Fetch. Don't go all stupid on me. That was the cheapest food you could buy at the Grand Prix was McDonald's. No bikini curls. Yeah, I know. No grid girls. I know. They took their jobs away from them. They said it was demeaning. I said, no, it wasn't. They loved doing that job. Now you took away their pay. I think that's more demeaning than um, <laughs> anything. As long as they enjoyed it, who cares? Collingwood won their first game. I don't know, what is the AFL doing? How come we played four games in 19 days? We played three games in 12 days. It's like, what is going on? Is it because we won the grand final? They're punishing us? No one else had to do that. Yeah, we loved it also. I know. Some of them were really nice, hot hot girls. But, um, I don't know. The world's gone crazy, mate. Alright. Ah, right, dog, keep collecting. I'm not worried about the geese flying over now. There they go. Oh, it's like they're crashing into each other, them geese. Did the dog... Did you go and collect something? What are you doing? Come on. Fetch a Reno. Are 
Every time you hop out, this thing that these fly over. Yes, yeah, so here we are at Easter. It's Easter Saturday here. We've already had Good Friday. I've got all the chocolates and stuff for the kid and my sister. And tomorrow we're having Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> it's one of the only days of the year we have it. I used to do a roast on Easter, but I do one every Christmas. And I, you know, I got to wake up at like seven in the morning to start the roast. So I said to my sister, I'm not doing uh, Easter anymore. I go, we're just buying food because I want to have a day off as well. And we just have it on paper plates and stuff so there's no washing up. Alright. Keep doing it, dog. Don't no, stop. No, no, mm, me. Get out there and fetch. You can't be tired. You've been in the freaking blind all day. Coffee? No worries, I understand that one. You gotta love your coffee. Good dog. Ah, well see, they're all averaging like 10, 12, 15, 16. If, I got, if you get 10 of them, you make over 100 GM. Um, are you stuck? Off the, off the stuckness, mate. Alright. Come here. Alright, the dog. This is, uh... This is one for the books. Maybe if we make it sit, lay... Oh, come on, I'm going to have to collect all these things myself, mate. Alright, that's just, it's trying to fetch, and the blind's in the way. If I run away, will it come? Come, come to me, dog. Oh. Alright, well, there you go, the dog has glitched out, so. I'll be collecting these geese myself, by the looks of it. Thirteen, big fat female. Did it get off the thing? Nope. So much for leveling up the dog. Twenty, that's a big one. That's the biggest one so far. Nope, still stuck. That's great. So, glitching out. The Labrador is glitched. We'll have to put it back in a tent soon anyway. Twenty-three. All right, that's pretty cool. So you want them, you want them 20 over, <laughs> right? you get 10, you get 200 and something. 21, alright, we did get a few not bad ones. Oh, is that a, that's a female isn't it, it's not showing up, damn you. That one got hit twice, 29, whoa. In the neck. 16. So we've got a couple of big ones. What about you? 31. Biggest of the day. As you can see, I didn't register for that competition because I wasn't allowed to miss a shot on the first six. So, <laughs> damn your game. I think, alright, now you're free. Alright, let's, we'll just see if the dog... We'll set it out to fetch. If it doesn't go after a couple of times, it means we've picked up all the geese. Because apart from getting stuck, the dog's pretty smart. Try again. I think we got them all, though. We didn't have too many. Is that it, dog? Alright, let's put you back in your house, mate. Put you back in your little box. And, uh... We'll get rid of the goose callers. I'll grab some uh, more bullets. And then I'll just go have a quick bathroom. Alright, so I'm going to keep the shotgun. Oh, I've got a few there, I don't need them. Equipment, I don't need you and you anymore. So I'll whack the red deer there, that there, that there. 
ammunitions. I'll grab. Uh, no, I don't say that. They don't look like the ones I'm looking for. Same box though. Oh, here we are. Seven mil. So, grab a few of these. I think that's way more than enough. I'll just quickly go to the bathroom and I'll be right back. Did I put the dog back? Hang on. I'll put the dog back as well. Because we're done with the dog for today. Um, equipment. Dog. There you go, good dog. All right, be right back, guys. Oh, I put my glasses down and made the map come on. Awesome. 